For today, we have an amazing, amazing video by Apostle uh, Johnson Suleiman, where he's uh, actually speaking about a book of songs. But in the bigger context, he's also speaking actually to the whole body of Christ. And he's uh, just urging us just to remember that our battles and our fights is not against each other. But as the Bible says, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against this principality that try to set themselves higher than our god or christ so that is what our battles should be all about the pulling down of strongholds that is what our battles should be all about but rather not being against each other but is that something that we have been seeing on the late it has always been christians attacking christians christians trying to expose christians this man of god saying that man of god is not powerful that man of god is not genuine is not real and all that that is actually has been the thing and as i said in a previous video i said that this could actually be a distraction and a weapon that the devil is using just to distract god's people from actually our main agenda our main agenda is not to be exposing each other or attacking each other or bringing each other down but our main agenda should be what jesus said he said that we should go the therefore to the old world and preach his gospel because you know that because jesus is coming very soon and he wants to come for as many people as possible but you know the devil as usual wants to get so many people lost so many people in the darkness and definitely the devil can be using this tool of attacking and exposing and all that just uh to disqualify men of god to disqualify people who are full of the anointing and just uh to be a distraction you see because when christians now meet in fellowships what is it all about right now is it about jesus is it about prayer is it about the holy spirit or is it about us gossiping about this man of god gossiping about that expose by td jakes by tb joshua what is it about so there's a video i'm about to play for you that is actually a very wonderful video that apostle johnson suleiman is actually uh symbolically is not just speaking about a book of songs as alone but he's also speaking to the body of christ and speaking about to all the exposes that have been happening so it's a very very amazing video and this and uh, on top of that, there is a story that he's giving about Eli going blind. You remember Eli? Eli? Eli was actually Samuel's uh, mentor. And there's a time that he went blind blind, and he was and able to see. So symbolically, what that means is that uh, that was actually a failure to speaking about spiritual eyesight. So Eli uh, wasn't able to see spiritual wasn't able to see what was happening in his own family and that one was actually a failure so let me play for you this video and then we'll get back and definitely expound more about it samuel was a little boy in the temple he was a boy in the city when eli was blind sir at the state of the church now eli is blind oh God is looking for Samuels. God is looking for Samuels because Ella is blind. A generation that can't tell you what God said. Mm. Do you know Ayapata? I met Ebuka leading worship. Before I came up, someone sent me something. I told him to, to delete it. It was somebody talking about Ebuka. And I was expecting to hear God said. They said he went somewhere. Somebody gave cards. So look at the carnal analysis. No God said. The God you know one on one is the God you should follow. Don't follow the God on media. God is not there. It's men that are there. Look at the carnal analysis. Nothing like God told me. Look at the kind of, I wonder, you said, if you send me this kind of nonsense again. <laughs> when God gives a man an anointing, he's sent to God's people. Whenever you stand to minister, what you have in mind should not be a pastor, it should be God's people. When the Holy Ghost gives you an instruction, you are blessing God's people. Have I called you once? Have I spoken to you on the phone? Do I have your number? Have you spoken to me? We don't have numbers. My, my interest is go and bless God's people. Am I talking to somebody here? But we are in a generation where people don't care if they destroy God's people to attack a person. Whoa. This guy 
is young he's just coming up should you destroy this one again you have destroyed others you want to destroy this one it's just he will not be destroyed he will not be destroyed he will not be destroyed what is all this Ella is blind people don't say God said anymore people don't say God said what is God saying yeah what is God saying when men no longer hear God, they need to stay relevant, so they must attack people. Wow. wow. When men don't hear God anymore, they have to stay relevant, so they must attack people. Now, I saw that the artist in my church. I, I don't know if you know we have artists in OFM. I say, even if a man is preaching against me, if he invites you, go there. Because you will not be there when we settle our quarrel. I can't limit your ministry because somebody is, doesn't like me. Mm. If go there the only thing that should make you run is when they are introducing to another god i'm saying that even if the person does not believe in the prophetic ministry he doesn't believe in the power ministry and he's just a teacher of the world there are people there waiting for your unction go and bless them i am a christian i am a child of god i can let ministry go but keep my faith i am i never planned or imagined to be a great i don't want to be a great man of god i want to be an ordinary man of a great god am i talking to somebody here am i talking to somebody here wow wow that is actually uh very 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 profound that is very very profound so he says that he is his intention is not to be a great man of god god is not looking for activists activists on the pulpit and I told him, I said, what, to what intent did you send me this he said be praying for him I said I'm not interested when you see somebody who has a relationship Ella is blind forget the age of Ella many people in the church can say God said mm. what yeah, is the Holy Ghost telling failure. you concerning the matter Okay, this thing is happening now. There's a crisis in that home. What has God said? Let's know what God has said. We are in a generation now, even in the church, to get somebody in a position, you have to elect. We have to now elect. How many of us want this brother? We don't want this brother. That's pleasing people. I'm, I'm saying the truth now. Democracy. <laughs> because even if somebody said this is what God said, another person will counter what God has said. Eish. There were 7,000 people that did not bow their knee to bar. So, aside Elijah, there were 7,000 men in that capacity. But when he said there shall be no rain, nobody said anything. Everybody was quiet. Even if you have a prophet, a prophet has spoken. A woman, an elderly woman in her 90s, while I was praying with her, when I see old women, I, I just like old women, old men, I say, please pray for me. Pray for me. So, I was praying with her. She said, pray for me first before I pray for you. And as mm -hmm. came while I was praying with her, she said something in the midst of prayer. When I left there, I was crying. He said, God, use him. Listen, use him to raise Christians, the kind of Christians we had in the days of Abacha. Hallelujah. That Glory. will speak to the economy. Mm. I was in church when Benson it also. We are in service one Sunday. He said, from this Sunday to the coming Sunday, for the first time, I'm going to wear black. And in five days, the president will step out of power. He said, except I'm not a man of God. Monday, he will. Woo! Wow, that is an amazing, amazing one by uh, Apostle Johnson Seliman. So, just back uh, where he's speaking about Christians being united and us just being attentive to God's voice rather than all these uh, trying schemes of trying to please men and all that. So I, I actually am in support of uh, everything that he's saying. And just to be uh, just to add something on that just for, for us to be better positioned is that as a body of Christ, we need to be united. You know we are uh, we are one body and uh, and Jesus uh, 
doing different functions. Like for example, you could be the hand, I could be the leg, you could be the finger, different. But we are all, all of us together joined, we create that body of Christ. So we need to actually be united uh, and function to fulfill God's or Jesus' desire, which is for us to go there for to the whole world and to preach the gospel. Something that Apostle has said that is very actually profound. He said that when certain people are starting to lose uh, relevance, then they go out and attack, attack people who now are relevant because now definitely people will start to pay attention. I think that is actually quite, quite very amazing. So let me know what you think about all this. But uh, it's clear that he said people have destroyed so many others. People have been trying to destroy people like uh, even the legacy of T.B. Joshua. Because what do you gain when you expose a dead man? Definitely uh, your intention could be that you want to destroy their legacy. So what do you gain by that? What do you gain when you say that uh, uh, Prophet Lovi is not a true prophet of God? What do you gain by that? And that is something that has been happening uh, for long and it's been, it's been actually on the rise. So... And so many other different men of God, those are just examples. So he said that a book of songs won't go down as the rest went down. And a book of songs has quite an amazing song there on YouTube. You can check them out, collabs with uh, Moses Bliss and others. So you can check that out as well. So let me know what you think about all this in the comment section. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next episode.